Hello, my name is Katrina Van Grau, and this is my presentation on my multi multicultural education philosophy. This is for Professor Verdicchio for his multicultural and bilingual education class at William Patterson University. Why is multicultural education important? Multicultural education is defined as the grouping of children from different cultures, ethnic backgrounds, and ideas being taught in a way that respects their differences. This is very important because here in America, we have a multicultural society. People come from all over the world and they often are in the same schools. The purpose of this education is to share information in a fair way so that children can learn together. Um, we often have instances where students are left behind because of language differences. For example, we learned about in the class that without a bilingual education program, Hispanic children or children that even speak Spanish are often um, not learning at a rate that they should because they don't have the proper help. So with multicultural education, these differences are respected and all um, languages and all that is respected and people can learn at the same rate so it's a fair learning process. Um, someone said that America is the melting pot, we've all heard it, but I've also heard that a tossed salad is a better term because in America if you are in a melting pot it means that all your cultures flow together, but we like to preserve cultures People can be American and still have deep um, heritage, deep roots. So that's why I toss salad. It's still all combined together, but it still has its separate parts. Why do I want to teach my subject? I want to teach art because it's a form of expression and creativity that both makes you think logically and utilizes skill, but also encourages freedom and rule breaking. I want people to feel proud of what they can create and have fun doing it. So. I feel like art is one of the most therapeutic and best things that you can do for yourself because when you see what you can create, even if it's not good by an artist's standard, it still brings you joy doing it. Art is also a way of recording history. We have many famous paintings that both record historical things like wars and, for example, the painting of Napoleon on the horse, it's very famous. It records events in history that otherwise might be forgotten. Art also beautifies everyday life. For example, I went for to a place called Gardens for Sculpture in New Jersey, and it takes all these sculptures and winds them through a beautiful park-like atmosphere that really, it's just a beautiful place. And it's, it, it's not so much what you see there, it's also the experience that you get to share with other people. You get a feeling from art and that can help you bond with other people. How do students learn? My experience is that students learn best through application. You can memorize something, but if you don't apply it in some way to your life, then the knowledge is useless. For example, I like to watch YouTube videos on self-improvement and skills you can learn, such as how to unicycle or how to better apply your time, how to be more productive. But if you never apply what you learn, it doesn't matter. It's the application that actually changes who you are and helps your mind grow. We tend to remember things much more if we use the knowledge. For example, I don't remember any geometry whatsoever, but if I was an architect, I probably would because obviously it is useful in my job. If we use all the knowledge we obtain, we will remember it much better. My goals in teaching my subject are to inspire people to create, I want to have a place free from judgment and it also will be therapeutic for my students and I want people to always learn new techniques and switch up old ideas to create original artwork. A lot of the times when you make something and you know it works, you try to stick to what you're good at. You try to stick to, for example, if I was good at charcoal drawing, I would only draw charcoal a lot of the times because I'm like, well, I know I'm going to get a good result. But the point of art is to push your limits and see what you can create. So I would want people to switch up what they already know, try different mediums together, and just a whole um, experiment. The most effective methods for teaching is, once again, application is the best way to learn. So it would also follow that doing is the best way to teach. 
I think that hands-on experience and fieldwork are the best way to teach any student. For example, I remember a lot more from all my um, class trips than a lot of lectures that I heard in school. So when I would be teaching art, I would be doing plain air painting. I would bring students out to different places, for example, stuff like that. Why would my teaching be important? The most important aspect of my teaching will be being non-judgmental and encouraging students to express themselves. Often in our world, we have a lot of judgment and people are so concerned what other people think about them, but I believe that being non-judgmental and open to interpretation is the most important part. Art teaching is important because art can often convey emotions better than words can. We grow from shared experiences and become closer from them. So too can we bond from experiencing the same work of art. Sometimes when you stare at a beautiful painting, you can feel something that you can't express in, in words. And a person that looks at the same piece of art might have a similar experience, and that is bonding. The end goal of teaching is to expand the mind, push the limits of what is currently possible, and to share the human experience with others. Shared experiences make us human, and human connections make us stronger.